Midnight on a midsummer Thursday. I'm a Navin and so is Heath Braxton. Hundreds of local girls have paid $16.50 a head to see Aussie actor Dan Ewing from Home and Away Go Native. Girls, so you're here to see Dan Ewing. Yeah! <laughs> Show us your tickets. Oh, oh God, he could have shaved his pits. It doesn't matter, he's still hot anyway. <laughs> Inside a crammed Palace nightclub, there's a frenzy. These women are in heat for the heat. While outside, I chill with the hubby and wait for the star to arrive. They are scary, some of them. <laughs> they are. They are scary. Dan's in, Dan's in for a shock. I think he likes it, though. Yeah. Of course he likes it. Of course he likes it. Yeah, Brian's been going up there doing the rounds just so he can keep yeah. getting people. Woo! Well, you see, these girls have come to see some pecs and a six pack, and they see me and they're kind of like, ooh. But Dan loves that's why he wears a vest. He's the only man I've ever seen who wears a vest four seasons. He loves it. He's a lot of vests. He does have a lot of vests. He's got some nice boobies, though. There's some man boobies. <laughs> Finally, the main man appears. On foot, looking like a prize fighter, about to face the 500 most fearsome opponents of his career. Hello! In our two years living in Sydney, Brian and I hung out with Dan and his wife Marnie a few times. Tonight, we're just hanging back to watch the phenomenon of the Home and Away Stars Irish tour in action. Hey, Dan. Hey. How are you? Oh, Dan, hey, it's heavy, you lad. Oh, and cheers, you're a strong fella. We're going to get that muscle, buddy. I'll see you upstairs. No way would Dan get a reception like this in downtown Yabby Creek. Okay, I knew Home and Away was still popular, but this was a level of hysteria I really didn't expect. I was fascinated to see fan after fan step up to cash in their 16 euro 50 ticket for a hug, a kiss and a photo with their tattooed soap bottle. I'm getting pushed all over the place, and I'm not even trying to go and meet him. Yeah, it was worse off for Brax. It was much worse for Brax. So is he your favourite? No, Brax. Yeah. No. Oh, he's no. your favourite? No, I think he's my favourite. Yeah. Uh, no, um... Uh, I can't even think of his name now. Kyle. Kyle's my favourite. Yeah. <laughs> and he's huge fans, yeah. Yeah. So you watch the show all the time. Um, have you followed them around? Because a few of them have been no, around the country. No, kind of, we've seen Rax a couple of times at Christmas, but that, that was it. A couple of times? Yeah, pretty twice. good. Yeah, twice, yeah. yeah. Jesus. Yeah, actually, I'm actually missing home right now. Where's Casey? Back inside and security were strictly ensuring that no girl got to hog Heath for longer than she paid for. <laughs> it's hot in there and that is not just the women. Um, that was absolutely insane. I didn't even think it was going to be that busy. He sort of took it in a stride, though, and he was really nice to everyone, got pictures with everyone, even though he went over his time. Um, it's just insane. Irish girls really do love him. I'd be scared if I was his wife, I think. Busy boy. 1am and Dan still had over 100 girls to do. So I made a date to catch up with him in Sydney, because I was on my way to a whole other hemisphere.